Hello and welcome to the Ripple Effect. I am Selena. Today's topic is a bit um, touchy, I guess. Um, I want to talk about uh, fornication or for those who are not biblically inclined, premarital sex. Uh, some of you who filled out the survey stated that you struggle with uh, fornication. So first thing I want you to let you know that of course it's going to be a biblical point of view just because this is a Christian channel and I am a Christian. But the Bible tells us that's one of the sins that is against our own bodies. Now any other sin, stealing, lying, uh, not honoring their father and mother, um, and it's a shame I don't have these, you know, just a litany, just pow, pow, pow. But um, I don't take any notes. This is just strictly off of uh, what God has given me. But the other um, instructions God has given us, this one talks about it being a sin against our own bodies. So I'm just going to have to be real. In our society, as always, um... In the end, it's pretty much um, a guy who wants to get between your cinnamon sticks. That's just basically the end goal. And I know that that's usually a cliche statement that all guys want is sex. It is true. It's true. And I don't know if any guys are even watching this channel, but it's typically for women. But anyway, I'm just letting you know if no one has ever told you, ladies, that's the end goal. So, it's just like um, who, I love Usain Bolt as a track runner. So, that's just like before he takes step one, before pow, before the, the gun even goes off, they hand him a gold medal. And say, so, you know what, just because you showed up, we're going to give you a prize. And that is exactly what ladies are doing when you lay your body down and just sleep with a person with out the benefits yes the benefits of a marital commitment that's that's just what it is because you're if that is the end goal if in the end that is what because guys men are created to procreate that is what's in them that is what's in them the bible tells us to be fruitful and multiply that is within them so if that is the goal in the beginning or the end, the middle, if you're giving them the gold medal before they even run the race, who is going to hurt your feelings? How can you be upset when he don't return your phone calls after you've been on your back or for some other kind of people on your knees or swinging from a chandelier? I don't know. I'm not in your bedroom. But what I am saying is that. If that is the goal and you're giving it to him beforehand, that is a sin against yourself, against your own body. You can't be upset if, oh, let me, let me just explain it this way, okay? Catching bodies as society will say it, just premarital sex out there, having a good time, living your best life. Um, what is it that I heard? Like hot girls, summer, something, I don't know, something ladies would not say. Um, if that's what you're doing, we will never win that game. Never win it. That is something that a guy can do. Und understand, oh, I'm here to shatter some myths and give you the truth, the whole truth and nothing, but say it with me, the truth. Because we are the ones who will carry the seed. And I'm speaking from this as being a single mother once upon a time. Because as I said in my previous video, um, my son is an adult. But the difference is we are the one who carry the babies. So a man can play and lay around and we'll be the one who will carry his seed. That is a consequence that we will not escape. Not to mention STDs, STIs, all kind of, um, what do they call it? Um, 
I forget, there's a phrase for it, but all kind of emotional damage and wreckage that we will carry because we have entered into something that God has designed from a marriage covenant and a marriage covenant only. Because understand this, a lot of churches won't tell you this, but God created sex, okay? Like, it didn't come from the underworld. It wasn't something that Satan gave us to corrupt us. Now, there are people who live in an abomination unto God using sexual activities. Let's get that straight. But understand that God gave this as a covenant for us to, yes, be fruitful and multiply, but there is a level of pleasure in it that God only intended for married people to have. That's why, oh, this is going to get a little bit more real. That's why when you are initially your first merry-go-round, there is a shedding of the blood. Why? Because that is a covenant that is made between a man and a woman. And understand that there is a bond there. That is, that is what symbolizes covenant. But sometimes there are ladies out there who struggle with it. And I want you to understand what you are doing to yourself. Not only the opening up the potential door to have another baby daddy or just another relationship where that's all you're being used for. Yes, used. Because if he's calling you at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 5 a.m., you know, those hours and the dark. And he don't know your phone number at any other time. You're being used. And there is <laughs> hmm, this modern day prostitution where ladies think that if he's paying my bills or if he's giving me, you know, a nice car or if he's buying me nice things, understand that you are an employee of the red light district. The only difference is you're not walking up and down the, the street but you still are being used for your body. And I know that in the society, it's been glorified that, oh, we're women empowerment. Yes, but that has been taken. It's a spectrum, okay? Some ladies have taken that all the way down to the end of debauchery, using their bodies to get what they want. And that's not what God created us for. Understand that. Understand your purpose and your worth. It's more than being on your back collecting bodies where you can't even remember who it was, what time it was, and then you end up on a TV show asking, who's my baby daddy? But I, as already, I'm getting fired up and it's my passion, so I'll ease back and end this video here. But as always, ladies, join the OAC Nation and become an overcomer and competent by subscribing. Thank you for watching.